think really put a challenge. We felt, uh, you know, we had an off night in, in Orlando in terms of our, our pressing and our shifting and moving. So, uh, and we credit them on a night that they, they did well. So tonight, I think you saw more of, of who we are uh, in terms of uh, our commitment to the pressing and, and, and doing it together. And so uh, we had a great response after the first goal. Uh, and then we just continued and we were able to create two, create two chances, uh, two goals from, from our pressing. We'll go second row left, Eric. Uh, Coach, we knew that Matt Miazga wasn't going to be here for this match, but then we find out late that uh, Kamara Lawrence isn't going to be available as well. How did that play into you know dealing with Kai Kamara, and you were still able to shut him down, given that you had Lade and Zizzo to reserve backs on your on your wings there? Yeah, you know, uh, obviously we, we we knew the situation with Matt. So uh, and Ronald's uh, you know has had a difficult season, but we, we felt uh, and believed that you know he'll be ready for this for this game, and so. He stepped in tonight, and I thought he played a great game and showed uh, his real quality tonight in terms of just competing and being tuned in and just being a presence back there for us. And I think that helped us in terms of having uh, Sal and then Connor on the flanks in terms of uh, just as a group. Uh, you know, Sal played in Portland and played real well, and so we felt like uh, you know putting him on the field tonight. You know, there's no issues. We have a system that we play, and guys understand their roles. And when they step on the field, they know what to do. We'll go front right here to Brian. Uh, just curious if you could uh, go into any detail on what Kamar's situation is, and if it's something that you can't illustrate in detail, could you let us know? Is it something that should be expected to keep him out for any length of time, or do you expect him back? No, just uh, personal issues. Personal, personal issues. Uh, he'll be back uh, for Wednesday's game. We'll stay here to the right with Christian. On a personal level, you've been a coach in MLS before, but what does it mean for you just to have the challenge of this role this past week and anything that Jesse said to you maybe before the game that you can share? Not, not really. I mean, it, it's about the Red Bulls. It's not about me. or, or It's just about the, that group of guys that are in there. Uh, we have a way we play. Uh, and so, like I've said last time, it's just same message, just different voice. 